Yeah. Okay, so uh, good, but I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm I'm not very good like undercover spy. That's not what I'm usually do. I'm I'm a sub um, project manager or whatever. So uh, so basically, I um I I will if if you contact the person that you know, I will try to like move this like mess of notes and and mm, strings and things like that to another. Maybe, I mean, maybe my sheet on my bed will be. I will put it on that and try to like fold I think it up. Here is where I am kind of interested to see whether, uh, since this is Sandra's scene, I'm going to. And, and uh, don't forget, you can be involved in a conflict as well if you want to be. But uh, this is Sandra's seen so i will simply say that when the uh when the crew when the the crew members who are of the secret faction uh midnight truth uh, <laughs> are going to come and uh, uh uh abduct sandra um, the question is whether she can uh, uh, avoid when the when basically the the door opens, someone throws in a technological device like a little grenade, which has a blinding flash and then fills the place with uh, with with a, a radiant blackness. This is high military tech. So the whole place is just black. Artificial light sources are not functioning to your eyes. It's a neurological effect. Your eyes cannot perceive light. Your brain cannot perceive light. It's a neurological gas. So, uh, so they can see and you cannot. And they, uh, and, and they are coming in and strong arms are grabbing at, uh, at you, Sandra. Um, and they are saying, uh, you know, go limp. We are friends. Uh, you know, come with us, and uh, or you know, you won't be a friend. Is this happening in my yes, quarters? Yes, it is. So, and they are. So I'm. And one of them, and one of them says, uh, you know, this is, you know, this this is the midnight truth. It don't seem. Uh, does that ring a bell? Uh, it, 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 sort of. It's kind of a. There are always, always sorts of secret societies and groups and things like that. And some of them are made up, and some of them are not. Um, but uh, I don't know if you. I, I suppose you would know that you know Midnight Truth is uh, some sort of semi-political faction. In the, uh, in the ship. There are dozens of them, really. Most of them is just people who meet for coffee or stuff like that. But apparently these guys are a little different. More more than coffee. Yes. All right. <laughs> I uh, say yes, you Sandra. don't seem very... I would say you don't seem very friendly throwing me in flash grenades, grabbing me and telling me you're my friend. <laughs> it's not very friendly like. You're not my friend either. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, Sandra, are you going to try to resist them and get away, blinded as you are, which you can have try I... to do. There's lots of things you could do, um, especially because the narrator can make up whatever care? bullshit they want for you to get away. The question is, will you try? It it depends. Have I heard of them? Do I uh, know Midnight what they? Midnight Truth is a group that is dedicated to, uh, un, you know, they they are, they they want to overthrow the command structure of the ship and seek the truth of space instead of just doing. They're anti-commerce. They are anti-capitalist. They are anti-industry. They want to take over the ship and seek the unknown and become, you know, and and. Uh, 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 really find the, the 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 truth of the wonderful things that this solar system has to offer, instead of just trading pieces of it for money. Okay, All right. so I tell them that um, I will I will hear what you have to say if you start seeking me up in a better manner. I won't have this. 
okay, well, they have their way and you have yours, so that's a conflict. So, um, <laughs> and, that, yeah. and uh, if you, you know, want to hide yourself from others, then you seek me up when I'm alone. Mm -hmm. This is just. No, they're, they're already taking the papers and everything. Yeah. So you, I can kind of hear them. Oh, yeah. yeah like, absolutely. Yeah. The, the, this kind of disturbs me a lot. So, and I, I'm not that much of a fighter. Um, but I think I would start to, to, to make a lot of, I, I would try to. Uh, and um, I will make a run for it. Okay. I tell me, uh, and then I will just throw myself uh, on on the the oh, most. He's trying the, to the save thing. you. What a wonderful yeah. guy he is. Okay, excellent. So, um, in that case, that is going to. I be... guess that I would go with them. <laughs> well, it's a well. That's not what he's doing. So yeah, I know this. He's, he has uh, his th here. My, my cards will be over here. That is Gerard yeah. with his three cards. Gerard, I do not see a trait of yours that can help. Not uh, at all. Do yeah. you have a trait of yours that can help? I don't. Hide, didn't she? <laughs> well, yeah. if that's what you are trying to do. No. No. I'm going with them to hear what I have to say, and then decide if I. Well, okay. <laughs> so are you saying there's going to be no conflict for you right now in this scene? No, not no, not, okay. not in this no scene. Maybe for you. So the conflict is with Gerard. Yes. <laughs> Gerard is here. Yeah. And I don't want to be Gerard. I don't want to be Gerard. I don't want to be Gerard. One thing at a time. Okay. I, I don't think this is m more of an attempt to do. I, I'm. I'm not thinking rationally here. Oh, I, 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 I was. Yeah. What are you trying to do? No, You're so, trying to stop them. No, so I'm still. I'm still trying away. to do this. Yes. What I'm saying is, it doesn't mean that you have to fall, and it makes perfect sense. But I'm. I'm really panicking because I Absolutely. can hear the right. carrying away my notes. I'm. I will. I will try to 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 like hurt them and right. and, and and hinder them like just flailing around and uh, doing stuff like that I completely and i don't need understand. any fan for this i I'm, i don't want to wait, succeed wait, wait, any one moment one moment yeah okay so we have your three cards here yep <clears throat> and we have their card here and sandra is not going to be in this conflict and so do you and i see no traits available for you now oh, I will spend busy. some budget, which is one, yep. two, three, four, five. Yep. Now, Mark, I believe that you said you, or sorry, Max, I believe you said you were going to uh, spend some, a card for. Uh, I, I was wondering, I, I can't give from all this pool. All this pool was empty. Well, it well, is empty. But it isn't now, okay. but are you, the point is, is that you could give him a card. I, or you just want to give him fan mail because you liked that? I, 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 want, I want to give him a fan mail because he liked that, okay. but I will also, you will also I will leave, provide I will a card. fan mail for okay. him. Got it. Can so someone will... give Ron a card, please? <laughs> <laughs> what? I want someone to give Ron a card. Oh, I appreciate I, Unfortunately, it. I don't have any fan mail left. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. But uh, that's all right, Sam. We will, we will see some fan mail for Sam in just a moment, I'm sure. Well, first of all, I, I, let's I, see... Let us see what you are dealing with, okay? You're mm -hmm. seeing this before yes. me. So we have one, three. two, three. Yeah. Okay. From the yes, midnight. On my side. And so then yeah. on your side, ooh, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. You have two. Yeah. And but now the lower. The card from Max mm -hmm. is at stake here. Oh, with black. Mm hmm. Okay, so that one goes. Who has away. the narration rights? Uh, oh, good point. I have them all sitting out here, which is nice. Oh, damn it. It's me again. <laughs> all right. Oh, this, so, this, what do I accomplish this is with my to be a more democratic game than this? The stupid producer yes. narrating all the time. So, yeah. um, I'm drawing crappy cards. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, in that case, uh, I will take suggestions because my only thing I will say is that they will uh, not respond very well to you, you know, hitting and hurting them and things like that. And no. so uh, they are going to uh, treat you very roughly um, to the extent of uh, finally uh, gassing you. You know, well, let's see. They already gassed you with their neurological stuff. Uh, they are they are going to uh, put some kind of 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 cheap you know Gag device ball. on you that keeps you from speaking. And uh, in fact, it's even worse than that. It is a, a more neurological warfare. They are going to simply they have a taser like device. It doesn't shoot a string. It's something you just use on someone. You just pull the trigger and press it on someone. And it gives you, you know, shocks, not painful yeah. shocks, just you can't control your muscles. And they will just keep yeah. doing that until they get you where they want to go. So it kind of parallels so you effectively. So and there is what we're actually seeing is what well, this seems to be a mo mo for, I mean, for, for you Nia know, yeah, watching this. It's more. It's it's almost a bullying bullying situation. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. They're there's not. Uh, I mean, badly. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a threat to them. But yeah. I, I, I. I. And so they're just like. Well, you bit one being of them. Really mean. I will say that this this happened because you bit one of them quite thoroughly. So yeah, I, that's. <laughs> that's uh, prob rabies. probably yeah. the first time. Yeah. That they, they are. They were not happy with you getting bitten. So with being bitten. So this is what happened. Um, so the, uh, so anyway, this is our situation. Um, and I am ending the scene with the two of you yep. effectively being abducted. Um, they, uh, they are clearly very organized and people who are not, they don't look special in any way. They will give a signal to people, to you, your group, to show you that a given way or elevator is you know, safe to use with nobody else there. So they basically can do this without. Uh, when we see that when when we as an audience see this, not uh, are are they masked or are That's they? That's a good point. Um, they are not dressed again. They are not dressed unusually because you don't. It's not like ninjas, right? Ninjas no. try not to be noticed, and then they dress up in ridiculous outfits. So I mean, <laughs> work. but yeah. the. Uh, but the point is that they they do, however, um, when they came in, uh, they had uh, scary, shiny masks over their faces. But now they just take them and roll them up and stick them in their pockets. Can, do we, the audience, do we recognize the faces from any other scene from the pilot or something? Right? No, oh, who in, knows? In, Maybe there... incidental characters here and there. But at yeah, least, not, nothing that no, there's nothing no named no, character no, or special. No, not, all right. not Eugene, you know, not or Garth, Garth not or anything like that, right? Or or, or Ivan or right. whatever. Or right. no, the, the um, nope, no, no or, of them. No, we are so we are not uh, that. It is not that kind of story where it all comes together like a Swiss watch. <laughs> just not more yet. people to think about. Okay, yeah, so right. uh, that is the end of the scene for me, I think. Or Sandra, do you want to continue it? It is yours, I think. Is there, is there any witnesses to this? Of course not. If, if I were, if I were, uh, if I were the narrator, and I was not me, if I was one of you, I might mm. put in a witness. But mm -hmm. it is me, so I'm not going to. That's what my ace bought me. No witnesses. The, the only way I can see is like one of us walking and not seeing this happen. No way. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's. I don't think it's appropriate. No. No witnesses. Now. 